Um, but vaccine hesitancy is really complex. The World Health Organization defines it as a delay in acceptance or refusal of vaccines despite availability of vaccination services. Vaccine hesitancy is complex and content specific, varying across time, place, and vaccines. It includes factors such as complacency, convenience, and confidence. I love that because I love alliteration. But this tells us a lot. Confidence is what we usually talk about, the, the sort of uh, stereotypic anti-vaxxer. It's just like, these things are gonna hurt my kid. But there are two other things here that are really important. One is complacency. Frankly, a lot of the things we vaccinate against are not that common anymore. Things like pertussis, polio, even measles. We have outbreaks, but they're not as common as they used to be. And since they're so uncommon, people may think, what's the point? Vaccines in this way are a victim of their own success. It's also a matter of convenience. One of the issues around uh, the current COVID vaccine is that at this point, for the most part, you have to get them at special vaccine distribution sites. You can't, you know, until recently, you haven't been able to go to your local pharmacy or your doctor's office to get them. And that's where most people get vaccines. So it's a really complex thing. We have to make sure that vaccines are available and that they're easy to get and that people have a reason to get them. So a little background on what, what it means to uh, have problems with vaccine hesitancy. We hear a lot about it these days, but when you come right down to it, especially with vaccines for kids, only about two to three parents would fit in that hardcore anti-vax um, category that we talk about. About 20% of people have refused or delayed one vaccine, uh, but those are the ones who are, most of those people are movable. And one of the things that's really important to keep in mind, and there have been studies that show this, is that when it comes to this 20% of, or so of parents who have some doubts about vaccine, a strong recommendation from a trusted healthcare provider is enough just by making that recommendation to overcome about half of that. So that's why when people come into my office, I don't say, do you wanna do vaccines today? I'll say, our plan today is to do this and this and this and these vaccines. What questions do you have for me? For those people who are a little vaccine hesitant, about half the time, that will take care of about half their hesitancy.